Good afternoon, colleagues. Um, so this is going to be a short video about how to make a Cami document collaborative uh, so that multiple students can work on the same document, annotate the same document. Um, and so I will show you how it works. If you need help um, with the basics of Cami, I will be making some more videos. So um, you definitely want to familiar, familiarize yourself with Cami um, before skipping to this step. All right, so I'm going to pull a document from my desktop. So All right, so to make this document collaborative, all I need to do is generate a link for it. So I'm going to come up here and click the share icon and then upload to Google Drive, although this hasn't been working today, so I'm going to upload it to Cami Cloud. Okay, there it goes. Sorry, actually it worked. <laughs> um, so I'm going to copy this link. Now, this is the link that's going to go straight to this document. And so I have that anyone with the link can edit. All right, and download and print the file. Okay, and then there's your um, sharing options. All right, so now that I have the link, I'll copy the link, and then whatever your LMS is or, or however you're pushing this out, whether it's on Nearpod or uh, Canvas, Seesaw, Schoology, um, that's the link that the students will click on and it'll take them directly to this document. So I'm gonna show you a document that uh, my students worked on in Cami as a collaborative document. And I just assigned two different Marvel characters uh, for them to talk about in German. So features are pretty cool. Down here you have the initials of everyone that was collaborating in this document. So if I hover over this, I see TM, um, which is down here at the right. Now, classroom management wise, if um, you know a student is having fun, crossing things out, or um, you know doing funny doodles and not really working, and say another, uh, the group is trying to present or another student's trying to present, you can click on their initials and it'll take all of their annotations off of the document. So I'll go ahead and click on TM and his annotations are going to disappear. Um, again, there are so many different things to explain about Cami uh, from the basics, all these annotation tools and so on. So please stay tuned for other videos on the basic features of Cami. But this is an awesome tool, I think. Uh, students can do group work, work on the, the same document and um, use all these different wonderful annotation tools. Uh, I hope that helps. If you need, if you have any questions about how to um, provide that link in your LMS, uh, I'm available. Let me know. I'm happy to assist with anything you need, especially with Cami. It's kind of my bread and butter tool. So, all right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.